Hey guys, my name is Mel and I'm back with the third video in this, I guess now it's a series on how to make a time lapse. So in the first video, we talked about how to mount your GoPro or whatever camera in order to get a time lapse. In the second video, I talked about the settings that you use to take a time lapse using your GoPro. Now in this third video, uh, might not actually be necessary if you use the video version of the time lapse in the camera, but just in case, if you happen to accidentally pick the wrong setting and you ended up using a uh, time lapse photo version, this video is going to be all about how to take all those thousands of photos and turn them into one single video time lapse. So let's get to it. Now, here we are. I am in the folder of this time lapse that I took while I was on my last vacation. You can see there are four, actually there's five folders here, just full of photos. Now what happens if you do this? Well, I'm going to take you through it step by step. There's probably literally uh, <laughs> thousands of photos in this one. So I'm going to use my editor of choice here. It's Premiere Pro. Open it up and a, and start a new sequence. New project. I'm going to call this balcony time lapse and make sure that I have the right folder picked. Now some people organize this by you know, bins, you can start folders and organize it that way, but I'm only taking the photos from this, from all of these folders here, and putting and putting them in this sequence. So uh, I don't really need to do it that way. Now uh, open up this folder here, control A, which I've already done, pick it up and drag it over. That's 999 photos. Now if you selected the option where you could, where you wanted to take raw photos, you would have to take every single one of these photos, put it into a program like Lightroom or Photoshop, edit them, and then export them to JPEGs and then move them over here. Do that again with the rest of the folders. All right, so now I have all of my photos in Premiere Pro. Now, when GoPro takes a photo, the default way that it names it is by the number photo that it's in. So you wanna make sure, click on the top bar here on name and make sure that all the photos are in number. Otherwise, your num your uh, video is going to be all out of whack, like the beginning is going to be in the end, the middle is going to be in the beginning, it's going to be all weird. So make sure that everything is in numerical order. And once again, I'm going to control A to select all and drag it into my sequence here. It's going to take some time for it to load. And if you uh, shrink the timeline a little, you can see that every photo has been put in here in five second increments. So every time a photo comes on, it stays on the sequence for five seconds and we don't want that. So when you zoom out, it kind of looks like one gray bar here. You're going to select it all, right click, hit speed duration, and right here where it says duration, you can, this is where you're going to have to play, it ar play around with it for a little to see how fast each photo is going to show up in the video. This box right here, ripple, edit, shift, trailing clips. This means that when it shortens the duration of the time that the photo is showing up on the timeline, on the timeline, it's going to delete the space between let me just, it's going to delete the space in between the photos. It's going to save you a lot of time. So make sure you select this box right here. Then hit OK. And it's going to go from a five hour time, uh, five hour video. 
as I can see here, and should shorten it down to something way less than five hours. You can see it shortened it down to two minutes and 12 seconds. But if you play the time lapse as is, you can see how the video has been stitched together. Now this is one of those time lapses that I started really early in the morning and I just let it run for hours. Then if you're using Premiere Pro, you'll hit File Export Media to render this video. Depending on the software that you're using, the steps are pretty much the same. So I'm just going to call this Balcony Time Lapse save. Now the downside of using photos in the photo time lapse is when you go to export. Depending on how you have your settings on your camera or how you normally export your videos, you'll normally import in like 4K or 1080p, which is uh, 3840 by 2160. That's 4K. But when you take a photo time lapse on the GoPro, it comes out in a 4 by 3 ratio. So it's not gonna match up perfectly in a 16 by 9 timeline, if that makes any sense. 16 by 9 is usually how people see videos on their cell phone. It's actually no problem because when you're done rendering this, uh, when you're done rendering the sequence of photos into a video, you can actually adjust to kind of cut off the top and the bottom a little bit when you put it into your video. Or if you like to keep it in the 4 by 3 ratio, you're just going to have two black bars on the side. So I'll export this video. Now let's open up the folder and see how well it turned out. See what I mean about the black bars on the right and left? Now because this is Windows Media Player, the quality of the video doesn't show up too well, but when you put it into, uh, when you actually export this and play it on a real player, this, uh, comes, the quality comes out very nicely. So uh, there you go, that's how you turn over a thousand photos into one short video using Premiere Pro. If you use a different type of video editor, the steps are generally the same. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you haven't already, you should subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.